First DIY IKEA hack is inspired by a photo I saw on Pinterest a few months ago and I thought it was amazing so I decided to make it. So for this you're going to need two colors of yarn, cardboard, scissors, and a storage bin from IKEA. So first starting off with the yarn you want to make your tassels. So you're just going to wrap it around your piece of cardboard however many times you see fit. I did it 50 times. After that you're just going to cut the end. You're going to take another piece of that yarn and loop it through all of the layers. You want it at the very bottom. After that's done, you're gonna cut off the end, which is going to help create the tassel formation. After that is done, you're gonna go back to the top and knot that piece you looped under. Then you're gonna take another piece and you're going to tie this about an inch under that knotted area. And then I just wrapped around the excess just to kind of make it have more of that tassel look. And I simply tucked it under. After that, I took my scissors because you wanna go back in and make sure the edges are nice and smooth. After that, I just kind of laid it all out. Then to add it to your storage bin, super simple. Just wanna hold it up on the front to see how like long you want it. And then in the back, you can simply knot it because these IKEA storage bins are really easy to just tie little knots through. I then cut off the ends and that is what the finished product looks like. I absolutely love this. I've wanted these storage bins for a while, but I thought they were a little plain. So I love the way that this kind of really dresses them up for your space. Next IKEA hack, we're going to be making this really cool piece of artwork out of a serving tray from IKEA. So for this, you're just going to need a black and white serving tray from IKEA, some clear glue, some acrylic paint, a foam brush, and lastly, some place to mix it all together. So you're gonna start off with the clear glue, and you're just going to add a couple of drops of the acrylic paint to the mixture, and then just take your foam brush and mix it all together until it's like a very even consistency. After that, you're gonna go ahead and take this mixture and just paint it lightly onto the leaves onto this serving tray. I just thought it added a really nice pop of color and because this is a glue mixture, at any point if you really wanted to get rid of it, you could just take a little scrub brush and get all of it off. So I thought it was really cool and I thought that this serving tray actually looked good kind of like as a decorative art piece. So again, like I said, you just need like one to two light layers of this mixture. Just apply it with a foam brush, I feel like is the best way to apply it evenly to the surface. Then lastly, if you want, you can go back in with a Q-tip and remove the excess from the black areas just to make them pop a little bit more. It dries instantly and I absolutely love the way this looks, just kind of as like a little art piece to add a pop of color to my apartment. Next up is this really fun little DIY marble tray out of actually a plate from Ikea. So the plate is from the dorm room dishware collection and then I just used some wooden blocks, some silver leaf, a paintbrush, and lastly you are going to need a hot glue gun. So just begin by painting one layer of the silver leaf to your little wooden cubes. I love silver leaf because it's very pigmented and you only really need one coat of it. So then all I had to do for this was flip over the little plate plate and I just lined up the little cubes where I thought I wanted to hot glue them. So then I just added a pretty generous amount of hot glue because it does have these little feet already on the back of this plate. So I wanted to kind of make sure that the glue went over those. So you simply all you have to do is glue them down and I love working with hot glue because it dries instantly. Simply flip it over and you have your brand new perfume tray or catch all tray. You can even use this at the front door to like place your keys when you get home. The color block planners are super trendy right now, but they're very expensive and I was able to make this one for under $8 with this IKEA hack. So you're just going to need this little plant pot that comes with the tray, a foam brush, some outdoor paint, and the acrylic color paint of your choice. So I decided to make the bottom tray the lighter color. So I mixed a lot of the white outdoor paint with my little peachy pink color and then I just painted an even layer on to the bottom of it. The good thing about this outdoor paint is it is formulated to paint these terracotta plants so it may look like it's going on streaky but I promise you it's going to dry nice and smooth. So with this I just kind of painted the bottom and then I went in and painted the top. While I let that tray dry, I mixed the colors for the top. Again, this is going to be the darker color. So I just kind of eyeballed it and made this color a little bit darker. Um, you can mix it evenly if you choose. I just found that this way was actually easier. So again, just one light layer of that paint is going to do the trick. And after that, you have this like really cool color black 
planter and it has the catch-all tray at the bottom again for under eight dollars when these can be super expensive so i hope you guys enjoyed this ikea hacks video be sure to follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye